Hi, I'm Kelly and Cows, and welcome to this channel, Stone the Crone. Or should I say, big fat ugly turf here that needs to die. Welcome to this channel, Stone the Crone. So, off to the city I went on the weekend, and we had a speaker's corner, um, which I was able to film, which I was really glad, so I've shared that on my channel. And these women I've met, are, they're, they're so inspiring, you know, they're... they're they're warriors and that appeals to me is the fighting spirit and our little group has that you know it was pretty, pretty crazy actually like um i've just witnessed a little bit of the i don't like to call them tras because trans right activists you know are they any more right they're not so-called TERFs, you know, like they're creating this new normal, aren't they, you know, so, so let's call them TAs, trans activists maybe, rather than trans rights activists, I don't know, but I've just come across Facebook posts about our group and how horrible the, the stuff is, like it's really horrible and they have no idea. They've known, oh, those hateful turfs, those, no, not one of them come and asked us, spoke to us. It, it's all speculation on, on what they think we're there for. I don't even know what to say, you know, um, one of these comments that was up was, um, on this woman's Facebook page and it was pretty horrible and the comments in it were pretty disgusting. And what really blew my mind more than anything else was that one of my Facebook friends had liked this post and it literally said, the losers of Queensland, you know? And it's like, huh? You're liking that shit? The, the, the handmaids are just doing my fucking head in. I can't even. If I'm not told to shut up constantly, then I'm fucking wrong constantly that um i even had one friend of mine recently say that she's happy to hear my experiences with the group but doesn't want to know the context so explain to me how i'm supposed to have a conversation with somebody without putting the fucking context in she said like well i know oh yeah megaphone I got to be megaphone lady on the weekend and I can tell you this shit is a f I'm a fucking this is a superpower I am now super megaphone lady or super megaphone woman I love this shit like I've been saying for years to my husband I need a goddamn fucking megaphone he's like dear you don't need a megaphone I'm like I'm pretty sure I need a megaphone. Like, bucket list of craziness. I've always wanted a fucking megaphone. This megaphone actually does not belong to me. It belongs to the group that I'm with. The um, female activism, women activism group that I'm with, which is IWD Brisbane. It belongs to them. But um, our fearless, awesome leader an organizer this woman is like she's an inspiration honestly um said that she's happy for me to be a megaphone lady and that i can take it home and look after it so here it is it is at my home and i'm looking after it it is so lovely and it's so loud oh my god it's so loud i'm in love i'm in love Anyway, <laughs> so my profile picture on my Facebook is me in my shirt with the Venus symbol on it with my megaphone. I just posted this on my Facebook page and she's out like, like what you fucking like, like what you fucking like. I don't fucking care. But here's the thing. If you know somebody 
in the real world, if you know somebody, and like, I've been belly dancing with this woman, like, I've known this woman for fucking many a year, contact me, hit me up on my Facebook fucking messenger, hit me up, and say, hey, Kellyanne, Miss Chaos, I'll be like, yeah, mate, how are ya? What the fuck's the go with the megaphone? Like, what's the fucking go with, uh, you know, pro-woman shit? And I go, well, like, as a belly dancer in and out of these dressing rooms, don't you think it'd be a little uncomfortable to have a fully intact male that says he's a woman in that space? <sighs> Hair maids. They get a giveaway our fucking fought, battled, won right that our fucking ancestors fucking fought for us and the suffragettes fucking fought for us. They're going to give that away to a man with lady feels? And, and, and I'm the one with the fucking problem. Yeah, I get that I can't get through to some fucking people. And I get that I am passionate, and I get that I am fucking loud. I get all that shit, I get it all. The rally was really, really good, actually, and um, apart from, you know, a few fuck you turfs, and, and a few, like, one fabulous glitter fairy, um, you know, a male that likes glitter, was like, iron me, like, iron me. He's like leaning on this like bollard when we finish the the march. So we do our speakers corner first and um, we're only a little group. So whoever's talking that day does their little talk. Um, and then from there we sandwich board up and IWD women do a lot of fundraising. Like, so I personally have been crocheting like, like, I don't know, like a nana. <laughs> um, I'm really good at crocheting. I gave up cigarettes in 2010 and took up crocheting. I learnt when I was eight. So I'm actually not too bad at crocheting. And we've been making scarves and we've been making beanies in the suffragettes colours. So if this is something that appeals to you and would like to, one, support IWD women and the work that they've been doing, and two, like to purchase yourself a fantastic woolly vegan friendly acrylic scarf in the suffragette colours or a fabulous beanie um hit up IWD Women Brisbane Me Engine which is on Facebook and you'll see the stuff that I've been doing so I've been donating my time to crochet so things like that that's that's how we raise money um we like like the lady who organizes it that's our core flutes, so we've got pretty good signage. They look very professional. But we work hard for it. Hands on stuff to make it happen. Like raffle tickets and all this stuff and crocheting and and crafts and, and artists that paint things and for raffles and that. So, you know, we're a pretty hands on group and the signs look great. You know, the, the core flute signs look fantastic and they really do serve their purpose and the good thing about the core flutes is the lady who organises, Anna, and again, please go to IWD Brisbane Minjing, M-E-A-N-J-I-N on YouTube and have a look at all the stuff that they've got in their channel. Um, all the conferences, they've got like stuff from um, statistics about the Queensland numbers of prisoners, male pattern violence and that sort of stuff. They've got a lady who used to be in Breastfeeding, Qu um, Breastfeeding Australia, her talking about um, lactation fetishes and that type of thing. But it's all there and their experiences. So it's all there on IWD Brisbane Minjing. So... By all means, please go check out that YouTube channel. Really liking the rallies. Um, I love doing the megaphone stuff. Like, I'm in my absolute glory. You want fun? 
fun for me, give me a megaphone. This is the bomb. Like, I just can't even explain to you how much I love this shit. Like, Tinkle Fairy, scoping me out, giving me deaf looks. They don't make me like, get louder. Like, if someone wants to say to me, shut up, I'm like, oh, looks like a challenge to me. So he's just like, mm, 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 and I'm just like, sex not gender. Sex not gender. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm fucking looking straight at you, mate. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like what I say. Want to shut this woman up? Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Like, just lately, it's the handmaidens that are giving me the shits. I've never been shut up so much by fucking women. You know, like even... Well, I like bleeding, like... <laughs> you say that. Um, you know, for example, they, they go, oh, I agree with you on here, here and here, but I don't agree with you on here, here and here. Well, you know, that's all part of self-ID, right? That stuff you're not agreeing with me with is still the same stuff that you're agreeing with me with. So, for a one, for an example, um, a handmaid might agree with me on not putting males in women's prisons or fully intact men in women's prisons, but they can come in and out of women's spaces. Meh, who gives a fuck? I've had a few conversations too lately um, with friends and just how they sort of feel about stuff. So um, I'm really, really hoping that um, if Kaz, one of the ladies that did a speaker's corner, if Kaz is available, um, which I don't think so on Saturday because we've got a meeting thing on Saturday, um, but... The next speaker's corner, I'm pretty sure Kaz will be out. So I'm going to try to organise an interview with Kaz, the roller derby lady, which I've already spoken to about and she's happy to do. So it's just a matter of when I can get that happening and done. Um, the other thing is I've been talking to a friend of mine and this particular friend is also in the entertainment industry and she's also in the fetish scene. And it's very, very interesting how she being in the fetish scene and her views on this gender critical topic and stuff. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get an interview with her, but the thing is, I wouldn't be able to show a face and I wouldn't be able to actually have her talk in her voice because it is a very, very... If you hear it, if you hear her talk, you know it's her. That's just what I'll say. And I don't want her being in the local scenes that she is in to put her in any kind of danger. So um, I'm not just quite sure how we're going to go about that. Whether for her protection, um, I just maybe just ask her the questions and then maybe talk back to you guys about that. I just don't want to give too much details away on who she is. But um, yeah, she's fairly well known in the Queensland entertainment scene as well as the fetish scene. Um, she's what is referred to as a switch, which means that depending on what she's a flavor of the day to whether she's the dominatrix or she's the submissive. So she's a little bit of both. So leave that with me. We're going to get back to, we'll get back to that. Um, so this is just a little bit of a chit chat about Speaker's Corner and the city and our march. Um, I think too we've got a little bit more interest and photos and that type of thing um, than our other rallies because of 
um, one, it's, we're still on Pride Month. And two, because we had megaphones and we were loud. We were so much louder than the other rallies. And I think uh, that made the big difference, you know. And we're working on our march and our calls. What, is they, what do they call them? Uh, um, but I can tell you right now, my husband's a songwriter. And what you don't want after you get back from a rally is my songwriting husband thinking he can write the chants, okay? Because he came up with, well, actually, my son and my husband came up with, well, we can write the chants. I'm like, oh, no, please don't. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> between my son and my husband, they came up with, I don't know what I've been sold. I don't know what I've been sold. Men can menstruate, so I'm told. Men can menstruate, so I'm told. I don't know if that'll be what I'll be bouting out through the megaphone with. But anyway, I'm going to love you for now. I'll talk to you later. Stone out.